Hello friends. We'll start this topic with few simple questions. How long does potting soil last? Does the garden soil we use in our containers has an expiry? Does it need to be changed often? So, today we'll learn on this topic and use five simple steps to revive or rejuvenate expired or old garden soil. If you are interested in gardening, please subscribe to my channel with the bell icon clicked so that you receive notifications on my new uploads. The soil is the most important growth medium for plants which provides them the necessary nutrients and moisture for proper growth. The useful life of a potting soil depends on whether or not it is currently in use. Today's focus is mainly on unused potting soil and how to recharge it with few simple steps. The regular or the used potting soil with plants growing in it has the necessary activities in it like the beneficial microbial activity and you feeding the plants regularly with fertilizers and so on. So what happens with unused potting soil? It actually lasts roughly about 6 months before it degrades in quality and depletion of nutrients and the beneficial microorganisms go into a period of dormancy that is a state of inactivity. But one point to remember. The used soil with plants growing in it should be replaced every one or two years for best results in container gardening. Now the five most important steps to reuse the old potting soil and revitalize it. The first step is remove old plant matter like the roots, twigs or leaves. Pull out any dead plants and pull out any weeds and other garden debris. Then second step, fluff and till the soil. Make a layer of about 3 to 4 inches. Break up any large clots as you loosen the soil. Sprinkle some water on the top and dry it in sunlight for at least a week. You can cover this with a polythene sheet after 2 days so that weeds do not invade this layer and also it protects from rains. One simple hack here to check whether the soil is ready for further processing. You can squeeze a handful of the soil into a tight ball. Flick the ball with your fingers. If it falls apart, the soil is dry enough to work. If the ball retains its shape or uh, only develops a slight dent, the soil is too wet and must dry for some more time before you can proceed to revitalize it. The third step is soil pH test. This step is optional. You can do a soil pH test before and after the process of adding nutrients. Based on this, you can adjust the nutrients to properly adjust the soil pH to your desired level. You can check related videos on this topic like Udash in gardening and vinegar or alum in gardening to make it more acidic or alkaline and many other similar videos from my channel. Then the fourth step is the most important one, adding the nutrients to the soil. Mix it with fresh compost like decomposed powder powder or any compost at a 1 is to 1 ratio or at least 30%. To combat fungus and other harmful pathogens organically, you can add about 10% neem cake powder if available. Optionally, you can add some gypsum and lime dust and also other nutrients or components like the bone meal powder, little epsom salt and other stuff like how we make our uh, all-purpose or the universal potting soil. You can check out my video on this topic from a card link at the top right corner of this video. Then the fifth step is mixing. Mix it thoroughly well. This is also an important step so that you, all your containers get everything right in proper proportions. Neither too less nor too much. Then lastly, if you do not plan to use it right away, always store the soil covered and in dry areas with low humidity and away from dampness. So there we have it folks, that was today's episode on recharging old unused garden soil. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also share and comment below the video if you like your feedback or any extra points I missed. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!